I'm just gonna start recording it now. Oh my. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in on today's video. I'm Gabe. Today I've got a very special episode for you guys because we're gonna be comparing these two sixth generation Camaro SS's. Now they are both armed with the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 and they are both 10 speed automatic. On my left, I have the Camaro SS1 LE, and then on my right, I have the Camaro SS. The one on the left, the SS1 LE, has the factory MPP dual mode exhaust system. It's a must have mod for your V8 Camaros. Now to my right, we have a Corsa catback exhaust on this Camaro SS, and we're gonna be answering the question, is the Corsa catback worth the Corsa cost? So let's go ahead and introduce the owners and the people that are here with us in the video. So right here is going to be the owner of this SS1 LE. Ramses, what's up? Hi, how are you? <laughs> so Ramses, you want to know a little bit more about the Corsa catback or Corsa exhaust system for the Camaro SS's. And here's Michael. He is the owner of the Camaro 2SS with the Corsa catback. We've done a couple of videos. I actually did a review on his car and I have another ownership interview coming up soon. So you guys want to stay tuned for that. Bryce, uh, he's just an admirer of cars. I for a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Frankie, the anti. Let's go ahead and start up the SS1 LE with the factory NPP exhaust. Again, I think it sounds great from factory. NPP has always been like perfect. Top notch. I love the fact that it's very uh, dynamic in the sense that you have different modes. You know, I have an entire video explaining that with the review. Uh, but let's go ahead and get it started up. Go okay. ahead and do the honors, sir. <laughs> That is a very potent exhaust from the factory. Hold on, I should know. I have the exhaust preset to always oh, be on sport. Okay. So, so <laughs> it does not close. I should have probably mentioned that earlier. <laughs> okay, okay, now it's touring. Now. All right, go ahead. All right, All right. so the moment of truth. Yeah, a lot deeper. like a 30% increase yeah I would say it's a I mean it's a pretty healthy amount what you have is literally from the headers all the way to the four inch exhaust tips which I mean it's yeah, much it's better <laughs> yeah how many inches are the pipes are they three inches no, four no no yeah. like the it's whole four inch pipes oh no like the pipes are yeah three three and a half I feel like idle is like a big difference oh, yeah. and then the tips are four the tips are four yeah yeah that makes sense <laughs> difference though is gonna be with the flybys and the stuff so let's go ahead and yeah. test it out all right so first we're gonna do the SS1 LE with the factory exhaust see how a uh, zero to X speed goes you're good <laughs> nice and crispy <laughs> so now we're gonna hear the 2SS with the Corsa cap back do a launch. And the backfires are pronounced back, yeah, way yeah. more. Double, double, right, double. Oh, bro, four, 
That was brutal and test. That's a way uh, harder insane. than that. Yeah, dude. All right, so now we're going to have him do a flyby in his Corsa Cap back Camaro SS. Okay. <laughs> it's just like more loud, but I feel like yours it's, is crisp. It's definitely, so? yeah. it's bass here. Huh? Like his is bass, like bass, it's like yeah. a tone down and just more. It's the first one dead. <laughs> There's plenty of runoff, bro. That's yeah. the good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have NPP too when he bought? He had the MPP. Oh, yeah, MPP okay. So now we're gonna get some flybys in the stock MPP, so you guys have a better idea what we're dealing with here. Okay, so if we're gonna compare who had the best launch, he had to, but you had the best sound for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he can wrist those tires, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you need those six piston brakes, let's go! <laughs> it was just all smoke when I came over here. I know! <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna have Ramses and I take it for a spin just so he hears it from the outside and you know simulating what it would be like to actually have right, the yeah. cat pack with it yeah. thank you sir <laughs> My hands that me up bro. that me up wow <laughs> dude yes you can tell the difference a lot in the sound even on the shifts the oh it, it's, the, it's the, really the backfire yes. for me that's yeah. So pronounced that it's it's really bassy. That's really the word. Yeah. about the tour mode is that if you're on actually tour mode and uh, you know you know this you, yeah. you floor it it immediately opens oh, up yeah. It's, it's what I feel like I'm missing because I've I've always wanted that kind of Corvette just loud what? sound you know what I'm saying so yeah, yeah. I, I feel like this 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 gives it to you maybe a little bit more um, what is it called deeper
Hey y'all. All right guys, so there you have it. We have some comparisons between the two different exhaust setups. Now it's the moment of truth. Mikey, was it worth getting the catback system from Corsa? Was it worth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100% worth it. What do you think of it? I love it. It's, it's, uh, it wakes up the car, which is kind of what you, what you want once you get used to the car, because I will say this, regardless, this is factory. This was very surprising to me how yeah. loud it is, how responsive it is, the backfires. I think this is the loudest backfiring car I've ever owned. And that's, that says a lot. Especially yeah, coming out of factory. Even the Huracan? Even, even the, the Huracan. Even the Huracan. This, is, <laughs> this is louder than that. Because it's consistent. Sometimes it feels like a BMW, you know, those. Yeah, the backfire tune. tune bah, yeah. Bah, 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 you know, but it just sounds that much louder. Like when a BMW is like um, down pipes, you know, yeah. the stage two tune. Also, the, v, the V8 crap. note, it's, right, it's exactly. deeper. It's, exactly. and so you could for sure just get an X pipe. You could obviously start like the cheapest ways, obviously. Yeah, the X pipe or, or um, and that's the right way. The, the really right ratchet way is to do muffler delete but no, that's no. that that is that is i mean you guys have heard it on my car and i've said it already multiple times it, it's I, the first couple of weeks it's fun but then afterwards it becomes a nightmare the good thing about both of these setups and it's really important to also mention these two exhaust setups are 10 speeds you mentioned that corsa has the afm uh toggle switching going on there right so the car or i mean the car has the afm where right. it disables the you know half the cylinders and Corsa recommended on their website to get that little device that I right, right, about yeah, before yeah. because when you shut off all, you know half of the cylinders it sounds like the four cylinders yeah yeah so yeah, it, it just and the reason being because of the valves it only has those two modes either on or off so you know if you don't have that you're not gonna really get what you pay for I don't mind it though because when really? you're on stop and like I get a lot of traffic almost every single day <laughs> an hour or so of traffic and it's not so bad um, when you're going like low speeds right, right. Um, especially like in the morning but when you have an exhaust like this and you're it's gonna start to realize like it, it yeah. sounds you're not like getting the full attention yeah. it's like what he said yeah. you don't even hear anything though that's the thing like there's with this yeah with the yeah. when it shuts off four cylinders you really don't hear right. anything you don't think that you're in a Camaro um, whether you have an exhaust or not, really, it just sounds like a like a force up there. Right, right. Which is not something I agree with. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather. Bro, 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 out, bro, bro's, like, bro's a traditionalist, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't buy this car to save on yeah. gas or or to worry about the noise. You know, you just buy it because it's you buy the engine. That's right, what I sure. Think. Yeah. Like yeah. I just invested in an engine, really. The, the rest is just you know whatever. But it's the engine that you're paying for. What do you guys think of it? It's I mean, it's uh, personally, I what I would do is. I would keep the MPP exhaust because I, I love the way it sounds. And I would save my money and get headers. I think the headers and the MPP combo is, yeah. it's the power gains. Wait until I get headers and then we'll find <laughs> <laughs> the A good comparison would be my Z06. You know how it was bassy like this? Very, And yeah. then the Stingray, which was like super. Yeah, yeah dude, that, that was. Like, yeah, it's like, well, loud, but it's like. The, the it thing is, is that <laughs> Corvette and Camaro, it's they like have different but they have different piping and length and stuff yeah. like that so you'll never like as an lt4 zl1 will never sound exactly the same as an lt4 z06 oh, it, it doesn't it just i don't know it's 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 a different tubing a piping it's it's all very different how much was everything I, out of curiosity uh the entire setup and installation uh-huh five grand around there oh, jesus more more? I a lot less. I'm, yeah. I'm here thinking well, a I lot mean, less. I mean, the axle back was around two thousand, Two, and then yeah. one thousand yeah. for the mid pipes, oh, yeah. and then another plus the install. For install. And and you also got no, the uh, you also got the Rotofab uh, intake as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, and the I don't know why. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that is an astronomical amount of money, to be honest. Uh, but I mean, you guys saw the results. I mean, it speaks for itself. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that the Corsa catback exhaust system is worth the five thousand dollars and if you would do it on your car versus leaving it with the NPP exhaust and venturing out into another type of exhaust setup or you know mixing and matching what you currently have on it. If you found this video informative and entertaining, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps out tremendously with the algorithm. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you also enjoy my videos and my content. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.